So this is the new limited project, we'll call it, uh, to where the sensation was a little bit more than I wanted to deal with at the moment. And we still got a little bit of summer left, so this popped up. I've always wanted another one. I had the same checkmate starflight with white hall black and red graphics i can't seem to escape the red on a checkmate so i guess i'll have to accept it but this one's pretty unusual as the black has very small amounts of flake in it it's over the whole boat it's filthy right now because well but you can kind of see the red flake and it's in every part of the black so it's kind of interesting the red is just a boring red nothing exciting there but uh so I would say this would be the standard model. No bow rails, no uh, three-tone gel. You only got a two-tone from what I'm aware of. But the funny part is they opted for the $400 swim steps off the rear. Wrong... Uh, ladder but so they got those it's pretty weird on the hull bottom as well is it's a stepped very minimal stepped hull you can kind of see it right there but also well, i guess we would call a notched transom all in all, it's clean for an 87, but definitely needs a interior. The rear seat is horrible shape. It's just, uh, you can sit in it, but um, original gauges, switch panel, all of that. But should be, uh, you know, something good. I'll get the trailer repowder coated and get it all hooked up michigan boat its whole life the bow will clean up there's your, all your metal flake in there some of it's dust some of it's metal flake but should be interesting oh and then to go along with their $400 swim steps. They went with a $40 cigarette lighter. I uh, don't know if the ski locker was anything, but I think it's had a replacement steering wheel. It's got some ugly plastic one on it now. Got a bunch of ugly car grab handles. I'm in the process of unbolting them, but wanted to take a quick video before I get too wild and crazy. Black Max 200 horse mercury uh, with uh, still has all the oil injection, which will be going to the scrap bin with my last 200s. And you know, some kind of cool 
ice chests here. So, you know, kind of, kind of cool. But that's about it, guys. So, watch for this one is planning on staying. Uh, ski bar too, which was cool. Then they didn't think they had it, but they did. So definitely excellent. Didn't even come with a cover. It's never had a cover mounted to it before. So I guess it's been indoor kept, you know, most of its life since it's, uh, you know, interior still there. If it was outdoor kept. It would uh, probably look a lot worse for wear. Uh, but it's an 87, so we're still talking this thing's, uh, she's an older, old girl. Plenty of teak. Uh, probably end up keeping it. Why not? Let's refurnish it. Look good. Some uh, mats up underneath there. But solid boat. That's a cool thing. So we got, uh, I'll show you guys the underside of the. The horrible seat. They said it was original. I, I don't think that's original. So, which I know it's not. But still has everything under there. Interesting. Wiring's a little bit of a scary looking thing right now. But that's my specialty. So, I get this thing. Pull the window off of it this winter. All the trim. We'll spend some time wheeling it. There you go. These ones also flip forward on this model. So, uh, you know, some storage cutties and stuff. Homemade, uh, repaired rear seats. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to new seats in this thing. Definitely the rear one because it's ridiculous. Still sit in it, so you know stuff coming apart. But yeah, it's uh, it'll be fun. That'll be it. Hopefully, this one will last. Take your bets now for how long it lasts. It's uh, with me, everything's always changing. My dad's Roadrunner. One of these days, I'm just the guardian of it right now. But that's it, gents and gals. Thanks a lot.